Hello friends, hope you are doing good. Today I will show you how to grow oleander or canner tree from cuttings and also important points on oleander care. The approach here is little different when it comes to oleander. So please watch this video till the end. Stay tuned. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do that by clicking on the red subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to receive updates whenever we upload a new video. Oleander or Nerium oleander is a shrub or small tree in the Apocynaceae family. Toxic in all its parts, it is most commonly known as Nerium or oleander. From its superficial resemblance to the unrelated olive olea. Oleander is one of the most poisonous commonly grown garden plants. Do not worry, it's toxic only when consumed orally. Okay now, regarding the usefulness of this plant. It's an ornamental plant in gardening because of its beautiful colors of flowers like white or pink. Also medically the drugs derived from Neria, uh, Nerium oleander are being investigated as treatment for cancers but still unsuccessfully. It is also used in anti-aging creams. Now I will show you how to grow oleander from cuttings with two different approaches or methods. So few things to remember in growing oleander or canner from cuttings is first thing is either start the cuttings immediately or if you are planning to do it later, immerse these cuttings in water till you plan to start this process. That's what I did, I brought these and immersed in water for about uh, 6 hours. Then later in the evening when I got time, I thought of starting the process. Here I have different ranges of cuttings, like the different thickness and also maturity. Some of them are green soft branches and some are woody. First thing is remove the leaves in some areas and leave them half cut in some areas like uh, mainly in upper portions because uh, it is believed that half cut leaves promote rooting by releasing hormones or auxins into the stem. Okay, Then make cuttings of about 6 to 8 inches minimum actually for softer cuttings and a little longer for woody cuttings. Make sure you check the proper orientation of this uh, cuttings by seeing the leaf directions. So here I am also trying the conventional 45 degree cutting angle at the point of insertion what I always do and also for some I am also peeling the woody bark layer with a sharp cut so as to expose the cambium layer. Uh, for newbies, cambium is the inner layer of the stem underneath the bark. This uh, things I have already explained in my graftings video and also the air layering video. Well, here I have removed the bark in these cuttings. Okay, now we have totally about 9 cuttings out of these. 3 uh, are soft, 3 are medium and 3 are woody. Now watch carefully. We are going, going to use two methods, basically again experimenting things. Firstly, few cuttings we will insert in potting soil. What I have done based on some researches, uh, research is oleanders need uh, compost rich soil to grow cuttings. So I have mixed a lot of vermicompost into these pots along with the regular potting mix, potting soil. So you can also use cow dung or horse dung or powdered. powdered. Then secondly, we will put some cuttings in plain water. Few things to do here is, do not disturb them for few days. Except for changing the water every 3 days or so for water cuttings and uh, watering alternate days or so depending on the weather uh, you have in your place to keep the soil cuttings moist. Well, uh, now we will start planting the cuttings of oleander. We will use our same old organic uh, hormone, rooting hormone, that is actually the cinnamon bark powder from our kitchen. Dip each cutting and make a hole and then insert it into the soil. Insert it uh, to about 2 inches deep into the pot. Then uh, repeat this for all 
these cuttings. Then we'll take some cuttings and insert into these water glasses. Okay. Then keep these aside uh, without disturbing for few days. In fact, this is done because of uh, the, uh, this uh, oleander roots are supposed to develop faster in water. Let's try experimenting. Check the results later. Well, keep them undisturbed for few days away from direct sunlight. And also preferably you can also cover these with polythene bags okay friends that's all in this video we'll share the result or the time lapse of this uh, oleander cuttings in part 2 of this video or also at our uh, Instagram page displayed here now. take care bye bye